look up the word crazy in the dictionary and you might just find an asterisk beside the definition that says, listen to the Subiquitous podcast featuring Sue Duffield and you'll find out what crazy means. Sue's travelogue journey of unfiltered stories, impossible miracles and faith-filled fun will be revisited right here. So buckle up and let's get going with this humorous travelogue of an unfiltered saint, Subiquitous. Welcome back. It's episode number 68, and it's been five weeks since we've heard from the very famous and the very talented and gifted Mr. Jeff Duffield on the other end of the apartment. Who? (laughs) Can you believe you've not been with me for five weeks? I, well... You have been with me. I've been with you. you I've just not been been verbal. Right, right. Yeah, I've been silent. (laughs) Which is... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've yeah. been verbal. You just haven't been recorded. Well, Let's just say that. That's true too. Okay. Yeah, I won't argue that. <laughs> I do want to say right from the top, we are so excited, Jeffrey. Yes. Uh this podcast and this episode today is brought to you by Marriage Dynamics Institute right here in Franklin, Tennessee. Isn't that neat? Now they are not paying me to do this. That what I'm what I'm trying and 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 processing right here is that when we believe in an organization that is making the difference in people's lives we are offering an opportunity for them to just be a part of our podcast and they can call anyone out there who is struggling with your marriage seriously their mission my marriage dynamics is to provide marriage workshops and courses that build safe environments and they promote self-education and produce extraordinary results and you can call right now 1-800-650-9995 Nine five. That's one eight hundred six five zero nine 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 five. Talk about the testimonials on their blog, Jeff, and on their website. It's amazing. MarriageDynamics.com. You can read everything that you can even think of in your mind, and more so about a nonprofit Christian ministry like this that helps marriages worldwide. They have helped Jeff over eighty five thousand couples. It's wonderful, and it's continuing to grow. And I love what God is doing in this ministry, especially through the Internet, because as we learned in the pandemic year, there were many relationships that suffered greatly because they all of a sudden were thrown in the same house together. Oh, gosh. (laughs) And so what Marriage Dynamics has offered, not only in-person training, but also online training as well. And for churches and groups, nonprofit groups, and even couples that are interested, just call that number again today is 1-800-650-9995. Not because we're getting paid to say this, but because we believe so much in Marriage Dynamics Institute. And we happen to be a good friend of the, I think her title is the executive director. She is, yes. Deb Timpson is the CEO of Marriage Dynamics. CEO, I'm sorry. And she is, that's okay. She is also an incredibly gifted, sought after headhunter type job person. I mean, she has served on (laughs) several boards and has done amazing things around the country. Wonderful person. Her, Her husband, Bill, is also a wonderful person. They're just great people and we're honored to know them and to uh, see the work that they're doing. And as we go along, Jeff, we're going to uh, offer, in fact, some um, discounts, and we're going to offer opportunities for those that are listening that may know of, of, of a couple right now that are struggling. Maybe they're in their family. Uh, maybe they're in your church. Maybe they're you know, a friend around the corner that you've noticed that needs some help in their relationships. We're going to talk about that in more depth and in detail as we go along with these episodes. And I'm also excited to say that down the road, uh, very soon, Marriage Dynamics Institute will also be starting a podcast. And uh, we are very excited about that. I'm going to be hosting that podcast for them. And we're going to have guests from all over the nation that have had success stories about how their relationships are better than ever before. Uh, the workshop is a is a process, as you know, Jeff. It's it's not just one and done. You read read a book and then you, oh, we live happily ever after. It doesn't work that way. No, it never does. But marriage dynamics is is so in depth, and it's developed by a new, unique group of talented professionals of therapists and marriage counselors and ministers, which I love that combination, mm-hmm. uh, representing an unbelievable amount of denomination. Uh, you know, experiences. It's not just one denomination. 
uh, many parts of the country, many different cultures and life experiences. And what I believe so much in is the fact that they are doing amazing God work. And so we'll be telling a little bit more about that and also about their new podcast that will be coming out shortly. So 1-800-650-9995, write that number down or get on their website at marriagedynamics.com today and uh, tell them you heard that and heard us talk about it on the Subiquitous podcast. And they'll go, oh, how about that? <laughs> I can hear Deb right now go, oh, really? Oh, well, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's what she'll do. I know. So we have not been uh, on. We've not been on the air for for almost six weeks and five to six weeks. On the weeks. air, but together, like we're doing right now. On the air. Yeah, that's what they say in Radio Land. I know, but this isn't Radio <laughs> Land. This is Internet. Well, I can't help it. It's just you know. I know. It's deep I in just, my psyche. All these years I, of, of I doing realize, radio. But I'm trying to re- re-educate. Well, you know, as much as. All right. Yes. Seriously. Yes. This podcast will be released on September. Actually, I'm going to say on August the 31st, yes. Tuesday. Yes. All right. Yes. A little secret here. Yes. It's going to be released because we are actually doing it on August 31st. <laughs> and here's the reason. We could even do this live. We but could. I, I, well, I don't know how we do it, but we could. <laughs> Within a matter of, of a few hours. Not even that. Not even that. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was sharing with a friend of mine about that. Mm. There are a lot of um, intellectual properties and workshop type people, you know, that go by the book mm-hmm. and say you should always have five to six podcasts recorded way ahead so that, you know, you're not doing like we do. And sometime between <laughs> now and when we go to the old age home, we'll reach that goal. Well, and then, then here's what we miss, though. What, what you miss when you only, if you, you know, if you talk about something and you record it in August, but it's not broadcast until October. You miss the spontaneity, well, as, you, miss you, the as you like spontaneity. to say. <laughs> and you miss the fact, what you know, we could have World War Three in between that, right? So, oh, let, let's think better thoughts. I want to have better Let, thoughts let's than have, that. Yeah, let's have some better but thoughts But there are a lot of III, cultural. Yes, I get your point. But historical changes and in the news. And and we all know this past week has been just such devastating news from Afghanistan. And I would rather be current than to be so yes. predictably uh, broadcasting ahead of time. Yes. That's just, and maybe see, that's the old radio me. That's the me. It is the old radio. That's the me. Sitting on the... <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the tabletop. The old yeah. Philco. But we've had some really, uh, in the meantime, and we haven't talked about this because I took five weeks of sharing well, and reading my your, book. Yeah, you were doing your book. Yeah. I know. And I want to say. And for those, let me just interject real quick. For those wondering, where was Waldo Duffield <laughs> during all this? He was right here. Uh, there here. were there was a couple times you recorded it by yourself. I did because uh, with lesser technology, I might add. Well, but I, I got it I'm, done. Learning. I'm learning. I'm I, I was committed it. and tied up uh, in recording <laughs> studios and such and <laughs> things like that. So I was still involved in the process, not quite as involved, and of course not as some people say on the air. But I was still involved in the process. You and were. I was you were always involved. In the yeah, process. making it happen. You yeah. So anyway, the, well, what we're, I wanted to we're say working is, together. And so what you wanted to say is, and this is not to take away from you, but our analytics with, uh, oh, it's probably a new much audience. better without No, no, me. no, I won't, I won't. No, no, no. That is a nay. No, it is not. Get the white haired piano player out of there. It'll no, sound that's better. That's not true at all. Many have suggested and said, where is Jeffrey? And <laughs> you're so rotten. <laughs> but it, what what it did was it offered almost like the the you know as as you get an audio book you know it, it, it each week people were looking it forward was a to, form of an audio yeah. book and, and, I and say, might I say the content it was was obviously very good. Well, I'm not saying about that. Well, no, I'm I am, saying it. I I can I, say that. I want to say to you how you know after let's see um, seven years now seven years when it was seven. published oh oh well, the book yeah, okay yeah. Oh, yeah. no 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 not quite seven okay not quite seven okay almost yeah uh when i started writing it and my editor 
I call her Sister Bates, even though she has no Pentecostal heritage, but she <laughs> she is so funny. And she, you know, by the way, she lives in Carmel, Indiana. That's where mm-hmm. she lives. Okay. Uh, when she was suggested by Jen uh, Jessler to, you know, be contacted, she's a comedy writer. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, she will get me from the get go, right? Mm-hmm. And she did, and she mm-hmm. got me. So mm-hmm. that was, that was cool. Mm-hmm. But what I wasn't expecting from her was her development of saying, okay, tell me the story and share me the story. I want to hear. I want to hear the sounds. I want to smell the smells. I want to. I want to see the sights. Don't just report the facts. Take me in the process. Well, she did for you what I have long held the opinion needed to be done, uh, and that that's uh, this is not negative by any stretch of imagination. I didn't do it because I couldn't do it. It was not my gifting. But you have all these little details and facts, and, and like you say, go deeper in the story. You have all of that there, but sometime in your sometimes in your exuberance, and you do get exuberant. Oh, there is no doubt. And animated, like right now. Yeah. Well, easy. <laughs> My, I don't have exuberance dialed in here on your levels. Okay, so we don't want to go too far. I know. But in in your exuberance and your excitement and and. And all that makes you you, and squirrel. Ha- yeah. No, no, no. And oh. all that makes you you and makes you <laughs> the quality storyteller. Look sometimes, sometimes things get left out. And, oh, details. And right, and the black and white people in the audience, who <laughs> I happen to be familiar with, just a couple of them. <laughs> um, the black and white people in the audience go, well. How did she get from A to B? I don't know. And she did that for you. I know she did. No, she, she did that in a great way. And and like right. you said, she would send part of, uh, parts of your manuscript back to you and say, "I think you've got a better yeah, one." Yeah, you got a better one in you. I love what you're going. I love where you're going, but man, you, I right. still don't smell the smells and right. I don't, don't right. see the Which same. in yeah. in the recording studio world is is something that's very vital that you can say to your when you're producing, you can say to your artist Right. And I said it last week. I was working with an artist and I and they did great, but I said I think you got a better one. You got a better one. And that's yeah. a nice way of saying do it better. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Shape up. Anyway. Well, thank you, Jeff. So the, yeah. You, yeah. So. But I want you to stay with me for a little while. Don't I'm go not anywhere. Going that to, wasn't uh, a, that wasn't a closure statement. No, I'm not, no. I'm manning no. the controls. Right. I'm I'm overseeing the ship here. I'm steering <laughs> the the the, uh, the rudder, is it? Or yeah. I'm steering the ship, I guess. I'm, you know. We have a we have a a list on our refrigerator of um, goals and dreams and also prayer requests. Mm-hmm. And it has been so awesome to be able to check off yeah. answered prayer. In the midst of a time period that I seems know. like so much despair right, and, right. and, you know, just bad news. And we've had our share of bad news, not only on a national, yeah, not only on a national, international scene, but as you well know, the Nashville music community in just the last five days has lost lost several uh, musicians and and friends of mine, yeah, to to various illness, just not COVID, some of it's COVID related, uh, but some of it has nothing to do with that. No. And it just, um, uh, you know, difficult time, however, but go. Well, what I'm saying by that is how important it is for for our friends who are listening to us. I can't express to you just how important it is to write things down mm-hmm. so that not only for the the need level, but for to be reminded mm-hmm. of how God is taking care of you mm-hmm. so that, you know, when I open up the refrigerator to get that sweet tea that I shouldn't have, mm-hmm. <laughs> I see that hanging there, and yeah. I and I reread it again, and I read it over and over and over again. And the great thing is to read it over and over again and see the things that are checked off. That's what I just said, and I said, oh. you know, the, the the thing is, is that yeah, I okay. did say that. So you weren't listening. I I was manning the controls, <laughs> and sometimes you lose track of content. No. Sorry, but no, you're allowed to say that too, because what? that well just shows that people that. You know, we're on the same page that oh, when yeah. we when we look at those items and we're still having some prayer requests in process. And can I suggest to you right now by yes. getting on Sue dot com or sending us an email at Radio Sue at me dot com. Send us something you would like for us to have on our prayer sheet on our mm-hmm. refrigerator. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds weird, 
But I am telling you, I have right now, I have a pastor's son mm-hmm. and I won't give his name, but no. I'm just going to say that this, this young man I've watched grow up and mm-hmm. he desperately needs a miracle in his life. Mm-hmm. And when I see his name in the morning, it's not like, <clears throat> not one of those long drawn out, you know, right. Elijah prayers. Doesn't but it, have to be. No, but it just, it settles in my spirit all day long where right. I think about him and I say, Lord, do something today to prove your presence in his life. Right. And so that has been uh, just such a great thing. And it's not something that is brand new. I mean, we just get away from it sometimes, but writing it down is crucial. Right. And in the process of writing it down, the title (laughs) of this particular episode, number 68, is, are you ready for this? I'm ready. It's time to poof read. Not proof read, but (laughs) poof read. You had me scared for just a half a second there. When you went with the P and the O, and there yeah. was no R sound. <laughs> See? Just... Well, I, I wanted to, because... Well, you succeeded. You is, had me going there. <laughs> that is part of the process, you Oh, see, it's a process, okay. Is the, the shock Woo. value. Oh, there was some shock yeah. there. I thought, uh-oh, edit coming up. No, 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 no. Okay, good thing we're not doing this live to the radio. Go ahead. Well, we had a, an episode a while ago where we talked a little bit about you know, texting and how we can really send the wrong texts or the wrong words when it happens. So I, one day I was filling out some sort of application for something. I don't know what it was, something online. I don't remember it was. And they said, put down your strengths. And I actually wrote this. I'm a really good poof reader. (laughs) There you go again. And then after I read it and I the the woman answered me back she didn't say anything she said but that was really good Sue. And I thought I didn't plan to do it that way. But for me to say I'm a good proofreader uh-huh. and then spell the word uh-huh. proofreader into poofreader, uh-huh. you know, you just that is a Sue Duffieldism if I ever saw one. You you have to be careful. I know. Yeah. So in the proofreading <laughs> world that has become something that nobody really cares about anymore. We talked about that, all of those sports uh, editorials that you read on a daily basis and how they're quickly written online. And I I promise you, some of these people in sports writing, they, they want so much just to get the, get the first out. They want to be the first one to get it out on the internet. And they don't go back and reread their articles. Mm-hmm. So... Yes. I consider myself quite the pompous poof reader. And I'd get You know, every time you say that and I hear it coming, <laughs> I just, I get just, I, I just clench. Okay, let's put it that way. I well, just, just all the muscles I tighten. I know. Let, and I'm doing it on that. purpose just for that. Well, you're achieving it. See? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, I would you're very gouge effective. my eyes out no, first before ever not. letting something like a manuscript or paper get by without reading it fifty-seven times. I I've understand. done that when I, I when I have watched blocked, you do it. Yeah, yes. and over yes. and over. And yes. by the way, I had you know I had five eyes on my book. I had. I just getting ready to say you could do it yourself five hundred times and not see it, and you can still miss things. Still That's miss why it. it's good to have, as as my father right. used to say, another pair of eyes. That's right. And yes. so there are very. And in fact, there was only one sin, one little, um, Poof. Rem, and no, it was a syntax <laughs> error. Ah, in my book that I saw. Yes, but that was. And it. we can give examples of friends of ours. Who have not had necessarily spelling, but syntax and uh, is it yeah syntax errors? Oh yeah, and I will talk about that in a second. But, okay. Um, I you know what you know what I do sometimes I even pretend to be a teacher buying red pens and circling my own mistakes. Well, that's that's and good grading thing to do. and writing in the columns, mm-hmm. and I even write to myself and I say. You can do much better than this. But do you ever give yourself an F? (laughs) You can do much better than this. And yes, I will even correct you given the chance, because I've known to do that to you, Jeff. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> and you <laughs> Ethel, have, it's the big one. Oh, yeah, you, but you know, <laughs> you correct me. <laughs> I and, believe that is the the national no duh right there. Well, you and you know what though, seriously, and this is what why I love marriage dynamics. Can't is you because, live in the vague? Is <laughs> because you also have been very gentle with me over the years and I've helped tr- me I've when tried. you said when I've said a word publicly and you you take me aside later and say I don't think you wanted to say it like that. Right here's the way it's really pronounced well, you, or. Yeah. As my father, great grocery store manager, taught me, and I had this lesson the other day, you never take an employee or a uh, partner or anything like that and, and embarrass them no. publicly. No. You do it privately. You sit down and say, you know. And so, no, why would I want to embarrass you? You're you're my wife. Well, and the thing I that do I don't that? understand, though, is that on Facebook there are edit oh. pages and where there's an edit icon that if you do post something wrong yeah. or if you spell something wrong, you don't have to repost something underneath the comment right. section that says, <laughs> just go back pay and... no attention to that post. Right. I just No, just hit the edit button, people. <laughs> just go fix it. Just yeah. go fix it. Yeah. And I, this is what I always say. You, you, you could correct your own mistakes easily. Yes. You know... Especially when you just post again. Oops, I meant to say or type or whatever. I did it last night. I yeah. spelled someone's name wrong, and I I posted it and went, "Oops." Yeah, just go back and fix it. Yep, yeah. and you can go there today and look at it, and right. you have no idea that I respelled it. And poof, you fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go again. So enter the texting typing. I am lazy editing world where it's quite common and expected to make grammatical mistakes mm-hmm. or punch out misspelled words or even worse, the word you type is correctly spelled as we've talked about. But spell check does not understand that it's not the right word for that particular sentence. Right. Or run on sentences like the previous one that I just said. Well, you mean <laughs> you, you mean you mean computers? Um how is I want to say this? They, they, they do not have logic assumption no. capabilities. No, they and, do not. Yeah, I mean so I, they kind of do, but they. But guess who taught them that? Right. Yeah. So syntax, as we said, hmm. like the word public versus pubic. You had to. That was. A, that, that I was, know. what well, I'm just saying. Yes. I'm just saying. I wasn't going for that one, but I, yes. Now that you've brought but, it up, but one little L oh, separates these two words oh, and yeah. makes a huge difference. And it's not spelling because both words are correct. Both words are spelled correct. Yes. And flirting with this could be a disaster, especially in a church bulletin or on PowerPoint. If or, you get my drift, I'll a, just leave it at or, that. Or a Bible study <laughs> outline. <laughs> Yes, but there, there in fact was the evidence there of an, a second pair of eyes being needed. It needed, and then because I saw you it, you saw it. Unfortunately, when I saw it, it was <laughs> too late, <laughs> baby. Now, now it's too, too late. So today, Jeffrey, yes, I am poof reading. <laughs> It's a funny word. I like it. I'm going with it. Here's another one. Yes. Um, you know, my eyes deceive me in these days. I actually had to write and fill out a form, and I meant to type 2021. Right. Instead, yes. what do you think I wrote? I don't know. I wrote 2012. Ah, a reversal of fortune, So it makes so to me speak. think, what, what is that called? Isn't there a word for that? Yeah. Dyslexia? No. It's, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's called texting or typing but, mistake. But I didn't see that. No, of course not. Because all of the, the, the numbers were represented. They just weren't in the right order. The correct. It's typing order disease. And I kept wondering I why this form kept coming back to me with the wrong oh, saying I've, incorrect. Oh, I do that all the time when you're typing in passwords oh. for a, a, a website and, and you're sitting there typing. Why? I know this. You even go look it up in your records to see what your password. And then you get through it and you realize I'm typing where I should be putting my ID. Right. I'm typing the password. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, duh. Right. But the, I, it took me almost 10 minutes to go, what am I doing oh, yeah. wrong? Uh, I sure. have the right date. I'm sure. I have the right number. See, in moments like that, we should go to each other and say, well, I almost, what am I doing right, wrong? Right, I almost did, and I should have. But um, then it, all of a sudden, I went, oh, you yep. you, you, 
You yep, proofreader, you. It's not you. 2012. You, no, it's 2021. And poof went the yeah the doors of my heart. Now something. I assume that I'm making our audience laugh, but I have no poof of that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> double check not only what you type, but what you mean, right? Double check your work. Poof spoken. Thank God every day that you don't get penalized for your grammar You are lack. really walking the line today, aren't you? Otherwise... I've got my edit tools on this side <laughs> of the wall here. Otherwise... Uh, sharpened and at the ready. I'd be like... Poof, and you're gone. <laughs> yes, we're going to make a lot of people laugh because I am going to tell you this right now. All right? Now yeah. I have to spell the words for you. Uh-oh. Okay, are you ready for this? Mm. Know your faults. Okay. N-O. A- know your faults. Now, isn't that, correct me if I'm wrong, because English <laughs> classes were not as strong. I, I do well in in construction of sentence for the most part but the actual diagramming it should be k-n-o-w but i I wrote no no, you're right i know that but what i'm saying isn't is that not a synonym error isn't that what that is no and no synonym yeah what did i say Cinnamon, cinnamon. You sound like you said cinnamon. <laughs> uh, You're wanting cinnamon buns. I know. Well, you in in no, I and don't proofing. believe. I don't believe that is what it is. I'm well, not sure. Got, I gotta look it up. All right. Now. Well, okay, go, ahead. go You go ahead. and well, I'll look it up. And I listen and be sure to proofread, especially when you're <laughs> we're proofreading using the wrong words. Now, when I just said that, guess what I typed? I don't know. Y o u r. Especially when ah, oh, you're I see that using the, the wrong words. I see that all the time. And it's not that. It's your. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You are. That has got to be one of the biggest. Yeah. Poof reading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then I say, I'm not even going to go there. Guess what I just spelled? No. I said Duffield is right. Well, wait just a second. Okay, but I got Hold a, that I have thought. a news flash. Hold go that ahead. thought. Hurry up. I said I'm Breaking not news. even going to go there. This is what I spelled. Right. Not is K N O T. <laughs> and I'm not even going to go there. I put T H E I R. Right. Which it should not be that. It should be N O T and T H E R E. So what what is it? What is a symposium or whatever? Synonym. Oh, synonym. Synonym. This is not what you put on your buns or your pastry, I should say. (laughs) Lord have mercy. (laughs) A word having the same or nearly the same meaning. Maybe. Well, maybe it isn't. See, you read ahead and you did not poof read. Yes, I did. I just, I just didn't a synonym read it all. is not what what we just what we just shared. No, no. word having the same meaning or nearly the same meaning. No, well, no and no does not have the same meaning. I understand. They sound so, alike. Well, obviously, <laughs> duh. But they're not spelled. All right, okay, what is it then? I what? don't know. We're gonna have to look that up, and I should know that. Oh, okay. If, if, if you're a speech therapist, would you contact me? <laughs> Let, give us give us the word. Give us the title for what that is when words are spelled differently but sound the same. There is a word. I, I promise I, you. I know. Uh, well, it's like this... acrophobia. You know, no, it's a fear of sp- it's no, it's the spir- fear of spelling the word, the same word backwards is the same word. Acrophobia? It's spelled. I thought that's a fear of spiders. Oh, maybe that is acrophobia. Maybe it's arachnophobia. Ibophobia. Okay. Well, ibophobia. Ibophobia. That, no, that's what you don't like your phone. No, 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 no. Ibophobia. We we did this on a, on a previous episode. Ibophobia is the fear of spelling the same word forwards as it is backwards. And the actual word of, of whatever that phobia is, is ibophobia. And you can spell it the same way forward and backwards. That's still not the definition no, it's of not. when you have off. the We're word no here. and no. <laughs> N O and K N O W. So, I know. And we're, we're going to find that out. And I'm sure our listeners, there'll oh, be will. someone out there with the Ministry of Correction 
who will help us with that. Right. Moving on. So unless you, E-W-E, take the time, T-H-Y-M-E, to evaluate your own faults. <laughs> You're really hurting me here. You really are Don't you me. dare judge Judy, me, or anyone else for that matter. <laughs> hmm. Judge Judy. Well, listen. Poof read for yourself and be thankful that everyone makes mystics. <laughs> I is it time to say good night? No, we're not Gracie? done yet. Listen, no, the clock on the wall I, says we are. I, for one, W O N, am proud that I no longer suffer from all of this. <laughs> say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, this was fun today. It was a lot of fun, and here's how we know that it was fun is because. You still hang around with us. Episode number 68. Yeah, we're poof reading all the time. We're always trying to figure out ways that we can enter levity into the airwaves of Podcastville. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this ubiquitous podcast brought to you today by MarriageDynamics.com. And let me say to you, by far, we all know that one of the greatest ingredients in keeping a wonderful relationship alive is by laughter. Get on MarriageDynamics.com today and tell them you heard us on this ubiquitous podcast. If you dare. If you dare. That's right. Tell Deb she needs a, she needs to have an evaluation done by having us represent her. <laughs> In the meantime, we thank you so much for your prayers. And don't forget also, do send your prayer requests to us. We would love to put them on our refrigerator. We would love to write out your name. We would love to believe for God to do a miracle in your life, in your relationships, in your family, in your careers, and also in the incredible sub substance part of getting through such difficult times as we're experiencing right now. Wow. Praise God for the goodness of of God and praise God for the miracles. SueDuffield.com is the way that you can keep in contact with us. And thank you again also if you'd like to check out Patreon. I know we're throwing a lot of websites at you, but Patreon.com forward slash Sue Duffield is a platform that keeps us going week after week with this ubiquitous podcast. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm going to go back to poof reading. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>